Hi, everyone. It's my great pleasure to be with you here in Apache Quorum. Uh, today, I want to share my experience about how Apache Tajo project helped me to solve practical problems within business context, <coughs> and also how a company and open source community can benefit from each other. <coughs> I'd like to introduce, introduce myself briefly. Uh, I, my name is Kunte Ba, an IT manager of SK Telecom, which is uh, uh, South Korea's largest wireless communication provider. And I'm also a committer of Apache Tajo project. Uh, Tajo is named from Korean word. That means ostrich. It's not river Taho in Spain or name of tea. <clears throat> Today's talk is organized as follows. Uh, first, I will summarize my requirements on data processing. And uh, I'll talk about my experience before Tajo. Uh, I used commercial database to meet my requirements, but it didn't work well. So I chose Tajo, and I will talk why I chose Tajo and why, uh, what I got from Tajo. And I'll talk about the synergy between a company and open source community. Uh, finally, I'll talk about works probably done in the near future. Uh, OK. Let's go on. One aspect of telco data is its huge volume. My company generates 40 terabytes of data per day. And total size of data is estimated to reach 15 petabytes at the end of this year. These data is accessed in, uh, in the form of fixed format report or add queries on OLAP predefined pre OLAP cube. So data should be filtered and summarized and feed to business intelligence tools. <clears throat> I categorized my requirements. Uh, each category has different amount of of data to process and different requirements on response time. But uh, in short, I can say I need high throughput on processing large data and low latency for queries on small data set. First, I try to meet my requirements by using commercial uh, massive parallel processing database. But it is too expensive and not scalable enough. Uh, it's like a car which is overloaded and it didn't work well. <laughs> so I adopt Hadoop, MapReduce, and Hive for filtering and summary of data. Uh, then it works. But it still has problems. First problem is Hadoop uh, is, uh, the performance is of Hadoop is not good enough. It is from Hadoop MemoryDuce itself, uh, and it is from outsourcing of Hadoop like not properly tuned parameters and inadequate file format selection or bad quality of memory use code. Another problem is there, is there still exists scalability problem on database, simply because the size of data warehouse and mart becomes bigger and bigger. Today, it reaches 
hundreds of terabytes. So I need to solve these two problems. And I chose Tajo because it does provide high throughput and low latency together. And it also provides compatibility to NCSQL. So it can replace the load of database and Hadoop in my system. Uh, most appealing point of Tajo to me is it's genuinely open community. It is open to anybody, and I feel free to make issues, whatever I need. With many excellent contributors, Tajo grows really fast, and my issues are timely resolved. Hmm. One of promising SQL on Hadoop technology, Tajo has following features. It is SQL standard compliance, and it supports fully distributed query processing. And it uses Hadoop file system as primary storage and supports relational model. And as I said, it provides high throughput and low latency together. And it just become, becomes a patch top level project. I think there are two outstanding points of Tajo over other technologies. Uh, first point is, is excellent logical optimizer. It basically it optimizes join order smartly based on the cost of join operation. And additionally, uh, it reduced the amount of I.O. and computation by pushing down projection and filtering. It also eliminates unnecessary duplicated evaluation of expressions. Uh, <coughs> as you see in this picture, by pushing down the projection, uh, we can reduce the number of columns to read. And by, by pushing down the filtering, we can reduce the number of rows to read. And also, by reusing the previous evaluation of expressions, we can reduce redundant evaluation of expressions. Another outstanding point of Tajo is it can dynamically adjust its execution plan for ongoing query. Uh, intermediate, the size of intermediate data is not determined at planning time. So it is very hard to determine how many number of workers are needed and how to distrib distribute data over those workers. So Tajo, at execution time, uh, it adjust, uh, it check if the initial plan is still valid, and if not, it adjust the plan. And it also modify the data partitioning function according to the resulting intermediate data. So, it can distrib distribute intermediate uh, data over workers uniformly, even when uh, the data is skewed over some range of keys. Hmm. Another good example of its excellent optimization is uh, its joining operation. Uh, after every join operation, Tajo recalculate optimal join order and check whether next join operation can be uh, become broadcast join. So it additionally reduces the cost of join operation. Yes. As you see, as you see, it can change 
uh, from hash join to broadcast join dynamic again. So I chose Tajo and participated in the Tajo project. And after I participated in Tajo project, there are lots of changes. I categorized the changes into five categories. First, hmm, Tajo resource manager becomes to provide final granularity of uh, allocation. Uh, at first, uh, Tajo worker can be a worker or query master. That means uh, query master is a master to manage the execution of the given query, like application master of map reduce. Map reduce. And then, <clears throat> query masters separated from Tajo workers as it is easy to debug and easy to add future functionality like high available query master. And now we can assign different amount of resource to each workers based on its workload pattern, uh, including disk IO intensive or CPU intensive or memory intensive. In addition to locality awareness and lag awareness, Tajo provide disk aware scheduling of workers. Each Tajo worker has a dedicated disk to work and every workers are distributed over disk, disk uniformly. So, uh, Disk IO utilization of overall systems are maximized and IO contention is minimized. This picture shows that operation. And also, Tajo supports various types of file formats, including packet format. Function system of Tajo is also remodeled, remodeled to support <coughs> automatic registration of functions, which was uh, hard coded before. And also, runtime registration of user defined function will be supported soon. And Number of functions and data types also increases, and they uh, basically uh, uh, basically follows the convention of Postgres SQL. Okay, and with uh, NCSQL parser and JDBC driver. Any business intelligence tools can connect to Tajo without modification. And also, Tajo can access Hive Metastore through H catalog. So, migration from Hive to Tajo is very easy and smooth. And it is possible to uh, coexist Tajo and Hive in the same cluster. And we can use them uh, both uh, together, complementary. Okay, and web-based UIs also introduced. We can check the status of each query and also execution blocks in that query and status of text, text of the execution block. Okay. And also CRI based admin utilities are added, which is similar to that of MapReduce.
and there was many works that enhanced the performance, like enhancing the broadcast join and reduce the time to check file split at query start time and uh, reduce the amount of intermediate data by multi-level aggregation and also reduce redundant sorting operation and enhance sorting operation. Oh. With Tajo, uh, I obtained substantial performance gain. This graph compares the performance of Tajo and Hype and Impala for TPCH query. It shows that Tajo has excellent performance over uh, Hive. It is five times faster than Hive. And also, it, has, uh, it is comparable to that of Impala. Impala is excellent because it has, uh, it has in memory processing, but my data is too big to use Impala. So I think it is enough <laughs> performance to, use, uh, to choose Tajo. Huh. My another requirement is uh, low latency for queries on small data set. And so this graph shows uh, response time for all the queries used in my company. And as you see, uh, Tajo greatly reduced the response time for each query and meets my internal requirements of complete within two seconds for every query. Uh, Tajo is not better than massively parallel processing database, which can handle any query within a second, but it is enough. <laughs> so, and Tajo has the same, has the same scale of response time to uh, database. As you see, uh, I got what I need from Tajo. Uh, so then what Tajo community got from me and my company, this graph shows the number of issues created and resolved in each month. And this dotted line is the time that I and my colleagues participate in the Tajo project. As you see, Tajo community becomes more active after the point and number of contributors become more than double. And also technically, a company can make open source more robust and focus on practical problems. So uh, I tested Tajo in real working cluster and uh, test for scalability and interoperation with existing IT systems. And I find bugs find additional requirements and report them to community, like these issues. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this is a gift from my boss when I become a commuter. <laughs> He's a noble person. And <laughs> uh, my company, with Tajo obtains uh, efficient manner to develop and operate data processing. And also, <coughs> Tajo community connects me to many capable persons. And also, it values up the brand of my company.
company and it becomes easy to recruit great persons. From now, Taju will target on working on large cluster with many concurrent users. So it is planned to support uh, nested data model uh, and also becoming more scalable, uh, more SQL comparable, uh, which is include support window functions and uh, in and exist clouds. It also focuses on multi-tenancy by enhancing its scheduler and also uh, plan to support push shuffle without materialization. Uh, push shuffle is streaming data uh, between ex execution stage of query. So it can <coughs> execute every stage of query processing in parallel. So it, it, it enhances performance very, very much. However, we need to use selectively between push and push, pull shuffle because even though push shuffle has excellent performance, pull shuffle has its own advantage. It is resilient to node failures and it is scalable with minimum resources. So we need to use selectively. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Tajo grows really fast and there are lots of works to do. So if you have interest in Tajo project, you can check this URL and feel free to contact me or other Tajo guys because uh, Tajo is very open to anybody. You can feel free to contact anybody in Tajo project. Yes, this is the end of my presentation and anybody has any questions? Oh, actually, <laughs> I installed Tajo on existing Hadoop cluster, which runs Hive on Hadoop file system, and it co co coexists very well. And, and also, I migrated from Hive to Tajo, actually in the same cluster. Is there a mediator? <laughs> Okay. Any more questions? No? <laughs> okay, thank you.